sign those two documents? Uh, we'll work with we'll that. SpaceX uh, will bring to this region uh, is something that many of us never dreamed of. And so for that, uh, I personally want to thank uh, Elon Musk uh, for uh, the tremendous potential that you saw in our region and for uh, your great vision and all things in science. All right, well, uh, I'd just like to start by thanking everyone for coming um, and uh, thanking um, and everyone who's helped make this happen. Uh, the, the, the list would, would be a long list, so it's, I'd just like to say thank you to everyone. Uh, and um, it's, uh, it, it's been really uh, a great experience uh, uh, working on this, on this project and uh, establishing a, uh, a what, what, we, what we do, we're establishing uh, the world's first commercial uh, orbital space board. Uh, you know, so just like there are, uh, there are there are government spaceports. Uh, this Cape Canaveral and uh, Cape Kennedy and Vancouver Air Force Base, um, and those those have a, a good a good role to play, uh, launching uh, primarily uh, uh, government uh, uh, satellites um, and transporting astronauts to the space station. I think um, the, the, there also needs to be a commercial uh, orbital spaceport, just as we have uh, commercial air traffic. It's a very sort of similar thing to, to, to aircraft. Um, and we looked around for, uh, we looked all through through the country um, and, and looked at all the possibilities. Uh, and I'm really happy to say that we thought this was the, the best place to make fun of So, <laughs> so that's, uh, that's what we're doing. This is just a, a sort of um, your initial groundbreaking. Uh, it's going to take uh, several years to build out a spaceport because this, this is going to be quite a, a significant uh, building endeavor. Uh, in the when what's near term for SpaceX, which is I guess sort of in the three to four year time frame, uh, we expect to spend you know on the order of about a hundred million dollars. But in the long term, if you go out and say 10, 20 years, it's probably in the several hundred million dollar range uh, because we're going to keep expanding the facility. There will be other companies that also locate here to support uh, SpaceX because you end up creating an ecosystem of companies. Uh, you know, once, once you've got some of the anchor tenant down, other companies move in to support the, the anchor tenant, in this case, uh, the launch of uh, 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 commercial satellites. Um, so we, we expect uh, our, our launch rate to uh, grow dramatically to the point where ultimately we're, we're in fact, ultimately it's growing. And ultimately, I think maybe thousands of launches, but uh, in, in the beginning it will be uh, at least uh, uh, at least at least sort of on the a dozen launches a year, uh, just out of this location. Um, and uh, and for those that know about the history of SpaceX, it's uh, it's really the, the long-term goal is to create the technology necessary to uh, uh, take humanity beyond Earth, to take humanity to Mars and establish a base on Mars. Uh, so it, it could very well be that the first person that departs for another planet could, could depart from this location. Uh, so yeah, so super excited and, and uh, uh, can't wait to, to start building this, uh, this project. Uh, so. One more, please. <laughs> All right. Last, last one. Last one. <laughs> last one. <laughs> you got it, man. <laughs> hey. Okay, so, uh, correction. On deck, group two. Group two, you're up next.
guy. Oh, no, yeah. Chris, I was about to show you. Kind of that kind of shot on the side. Bill. <laughs> Fishing in action. Okay. Not three. Looking up over here. One, two. Okay. Got it? Double bit. You want to lift the shovel with the dirt inside? <laughs> Get to work. <laughs> One, two. Okay, good. Now, now pour it on three. One, two, three. Excellent. <laughs>